is that it's very difficult even for those of us who go off into japan very difficult for us to really really understand a japanese attitude about things right is i think that what can we do here in this room i don't know i mean i uh, you can offer money uh, and 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 that's where we started the conversation actually uh and and we sent money uh but we didn't even get a thank you and uh, no i can understand that i mean these are prideful people and and if they could do it themselves i think they would rather do that that's my gut feeling about it. i may be totally wrong but that's the way i feel about it i have to say something about that they, they it's true it's true that it is a very difficult communication pattern uh, i also think that when you have a sustained relationship with them you even start perceiving a certain degree of sophistication in terms of sense of humor which is something that you know we don't associate that easily with a typical narrative of uh, Japanese culture. I think they, I, I think they think as the same way that anybody would do it. I mean, with respect and long-term um, relationships, which in a certain way you have had too, and all of us uh, that have been lucky to be close to the culture for different reasons. I mean, you know, we all in a kind of non um, sort of institutionalized way. I mean, we all know that uh, that there is more than respect, that there is love, that there is recognition. It's true that it is a difficult communication path, but it is also wonderful that it exists it's for the same reason that we somehow were educated under the idea that symmetry is great and these people can stand it. Wouldn't that be like the greatest thing to talk to somebody that thinks exactly the opposite of what you think? I think it's a it's a remarkable opportunity. I do think that in the world in which we live, money is the equalizer, and so I think you should give a five dollar bill tonight. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think in many ways. Um, I mean, obviously, there's the skills and the expertise in Japan to deal with most of these issues. Money obviously helps. But I think the most important thing that we can do here is to remind the people in Japan that they're not alone, that we're with them. And I think, you know, it's that sort of moral support that, you know, we're all Japanese for a short period of time because of this. Just like after 9-11, um, it was nice to know that people in Europe and people in Asia, they all felt like they were New Yorkers for a day. And, you know, that's the message that I would send. As is mentioned in your uh, pledge form, uh, we are collecting for the Japan Society today uh, because uh, we could choose many other sources, but uh, uh, the, it is your uh, pledge will be tax deductible, and they will send you a thank you note. And please do you know, write your name and address, and they will send you the tax deductible form as well. Anybody? Well, I just, just, just somebody thinks of a glitch, yeah. and I can fill the time. I, I, I think the, um, well, to follow on what Cliff, Cliff was saying, uh, the, the, this, uh, this event uh, was a, a little different, maybe, than other events, because I was thinking back on the uh, tsunami that hit Southeast Asia about, uh, was it four years ago or five years ago? that in, in fact, in terms of uh, human devastation and suffering was probably, uh, was probably greater, um, but maybe had uh, less, um, less impact on, our, on us culturally because uh, in terms of the actual con close connection that actually does exist between Japan and, and the rest of the world, which is, I think, unique today. And I think also, Part of the way people respond to disasters because of the media has changed. And I think also 
Japan is known to have a very strong um, uh, response wherever there are disasters around the world. Uh, Japan does respond and contribute. And I think there was a, a sort of a, a response from the world to be able to give back something to Japan. Um, and as Cliff said, I, I, I hope that this sort of response that came through the media um, helped, the, helped Japan um, and not be as isolated. Maybe in the past, Japan was isolated partly because it was isolated, where this time this was different, uh, partly um, again, as a result of this, this technology changing and our culture changing. Uh, as a Tokyo resident, uh, I felt uh, I could do nothing for the, the Tokyo residents. Uh, that's what I, right, uh, what I felt uh, right after uh, the event. However, after getting the emails from the wall, over the world to, to my uh, computers, I was so encouraged and I think uh, I was so, uh, I got my heart warmed and uh, for sure for the future I'll be driven to recover the district. まあ、私は、あ、まず、カンパニーで現金を出したことと、私個人と私の夫と、私の弟、みんな現金にそれぞれのポケットマネーを出しました。それが精一杯やれたことです。あ、マイセルフ、あ、マイワイフ、エンド
and it, it is a vague kind of statement and i don't know if it leads to any thoughts for you guys but how do you how do you guys see you know beyond the last question for you guys of what do you want from C want what do you want to see from japan but what do you want to see this kind of rare op opportunity of a catalyst to, for change i think humans do change in these largely moving moments and in that regard how would you guys want to envision uh, that leap and beyond the Japan, I think, is ultimately the goal, is how do we think beyond that uh, barrier? Good question. <laughs> so, well, it is well, a... I gotta be tough on you guys. <laughs> no, well, I, I don't think it's... Uh, I don't think it's really... Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's... It's just the problem is that we're... In a uh, in an architects union now, you see, I mean, you know, it's the building of our discipline, right? And we keep thinking constantly. Is what uh, uh, Kumanalasan was explaining before. I mean, you know, this is a question of how you really can actually manage information. I mean, and and, and manage or use it or you know give. Uh, people the capacity to really make their own decisions. I think that this phenomena of the of the instant communication and the tweeting and the um, internet and all the rest of it can only be, as you can see immediately, uh, um, uh, an enormous positive impact on 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 um, on. The, the 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 betterment of society, the, the 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 capacity for peoples that have really absolutely be, different uh, uh, cultural roots to try to understand each other. You just witness some of that. Uh, I think that the problem is that the disciplines are too restrictive. That we think as architects and rather than as intellectuals. And I think that uh, you know that's that's what our you know enormous asset of being well educated should actually you know give us in return the capacity to think beyond what we do i mean this is when i said at the beginning this is the only reason for us to be here is just to manifest our shared concern and do something there's something that we can do is either we go to Japan, help and clean up this, put the house back in place, or do something like that, which seems like a sort of something that Don Quixote would do, um, or just we contribute our $5 to it. Now, 100, 20, whatever you have. And I do think that that's an important thing. I mean, our friends in the office organized already twice a fundraising. I mean, you know, we're not that large, and and it, it was a remarkable response, and gives you the chance of feeling integrated beyond the typical dogmatic levels of what is it that you can contribute. I don't believe that any of the technical people that I know, both in architecture as well as an engineer in Japan, need me for anything. Uh, as an architect or as a designer. I think that what they need is the solidarity and the sense of companionship and the, and the, and the contribution to whatever we can do to kind of expedite this recovery. That what I expect from Japan, that was part of your question, wasn't it? What do I expect from Japan is, is exactly, I don't want them not to be Japanese. I think that they have to be more Japanese. <laughs> And um, and I think that's wonderful. It's just that you know we need to find ways in which we enjoy as much as uh, as as we can of Japan the same way in which they need to really confront diversity and try to meet us uh, halfway. I think that Leslie said something important, but it is part of evolution. I don't think that evolution is unification. By the way, there is a very interesting host of. Uh, uh, theories that